Hey guys, Jeanette here and thank you so much for tuning in. So, in this video, the person I will pass it will US F1 visa interview. I want you to pass your F1 US visa interview. So I just want to share these tips with you. I know every officer is different, different questions might be asked. You might get a very mean officer, you might get the nicest officer, but at the end of the day, these are the tips I went through and I got my visa approved. I know these tips will really help you as well. I want to talk about is ties to your home country. They want to make sure that you are definitely going to go back to your country. I'm from Ghana. They wanted to make sure that in any case, I'll always be coming back home. When I say ties, I mean that something that is going to bring you back home. Is a family? Is a job? Is your property? Talk about these things. They definitely want to know. They ask you questions around this side. Do you want to come back home? Will you ever go back home? What will bring you back home? They don't want you to stay. I'm sorry. The next thing I want to talk about is English. Of course, America is an English speaking country. Your interview would be in English. If you're not from an English speaking country, make sure you've written your TOEFL and also make sure you are practicing your English. On top of what, it's okay. It's not your first language. So go ahead and practice and practice and practice. Practice makes man perfect. Speak to people who speak English. Watch TV shows, American TV shows, British TV shows. Just do anything to be able to speak the English because you being fluent will help them know that he's good or she's good and that means they can actually communicate with you and your visa might be approved that way also talk about your family have you filed for your mom have you filed for your wife or your spouse let them know if you have children if you have a wife if you have a husband back home just let them know that they are situated they can take care of themselves they'll have enough money to take care of themselves because at the end of the day if you're coming here for school they don't want you to be working of course you can get some off-campus jobs that money wouldn't be enough to take care of you and the family back home so don't tell them that well when i go i'll be working and i'll sending their money back home they don't want to hear that immediately you say that that's a fail why fail don't give you your visa go and take care of your family your family needs you more than you traveling outside the country the other thing i really want to talk about is speak for yourself when i went for the interview some people came with their parents with their sisters with their spouse unless asked otherwise make sure you go by yourself and if you are a minor if you are below the age of 18 of course you need a parent or a guardian with you they want to ask the guardian or the parent certain questions that you as the minor you cannot answer but if you are 18 years and above go by yourself speak for yourself let them know that hey my band my but i can speak for myself and also when you go don't say well my mom wants me to go here and my mom said it my dad said this no what are you saying for yourself so when you go there make sure you're speaking for yourself i have to speak for myself i'm coming to school because i want to better my life i want to end up being a medical doctor because i want to come back home and take care of the sick in the rural areas because of poverty lack of doctors they are dying of diseases that can easily be cured so you know say something like that let them know you are the one speaking and you're passionate about what you are coming to study and at the end of the day you are definitely going to come back home so when you go don't go and say my mom said my dad said my sister said you said i said so don't talk too much be concise they just listen to the first minute first minute or first two minutes and that's it whatever you say after that quote unquote is trash they don't care so make sure say you are actually speaking from your heart the first minute has to be something catchy the first minute has to be very concise if you're actually answering a question just go straight to the point there are so many applicants waiting to be interviewed you are lucky to be there to actually get the interview so just make it count sometimes you know what i mean yeah so keep it short keep it short keep it short keep it short and move on another important thing you should know is be positive go in with a positive attitude even if you are denied don't go arguing don't go fighting because at the end of the day you will come back and it will be on your record that this person argued with this officer and never have fake too so even if they deny you don't go fighting you should request for a reason for the denial or you can ask the officer for steps or tips on what to do next time or what documentation you should bring don't go fighting hey but you know you're listening denial because it's already on file that you argue with an officer whether good or bad be positive it's very important 
know the program you have chosen to study and how it's going to affect your career goals. I chose biology because I love helping people. Growing up, I saw my parents help a lot of people. They dedicated their lives to the community, feeding the sick, taking care of the homeless, the widowed. And that actually instilled an act of service in me. So that is why I actually chose biology because I definitely wanted to be in the healthcare field. If you chose business, why did you choose business? Just make sure you know what the program entails. And could you know how like you don't know what's happening or else immediate denial they'll deny you immediately without questions asked so yeah just make sure you do your program and how it's going to affect your career goals the very last point i'm going to add is gather all your documents before you go for the interview it actually makes you more confident when you step in the interview room or when you start interviewing with the officer imagine someone's already on a pie you wake up in the morning and you're not putting all your documents together because they'll be rash over prepare and then you are kind of losing confidence there and then because you're trying to figure out where is this document where is that document i thought i put this document there but if you put all these documents like a week or two before the interview at least you know where everything is and they'll ask you for oh can i have your i-20 can i have your admission letter can i have this but if you are aware or you prepare like two weeks before immediately they say oh it's on page three you pull it out oh it's on page one you pull it out it's on page five you pull it out it's easier that way you remember just the eh, say you know what i mean these are some of the few things i want to share with you these are some of the things i remember these are the tips that helped me honestly when i was going for the interview I didn't get enough help I had to figure everything out myself but God being so good and his plan is always perfect he wanted me here I was able to get a very good officer who actually made it very easy for me if you have an interview coming you got this do not give up even if you are denied don't give up just keep going I have come to believe that if something is yours it's yours if it's not happening it's not the right time so if it happens it's the right time I'm not even gonna push it that is something I live by now so if you didn't get it don't worry keep trying you got this i'm burning for you anyway i'm going to end this video here if you enjoyed it don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you so much for your support to me i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye